Our vision is, is to take the player somewhere dark, a place they might not necessarily wish to go, the place that they'll have to venture if they want Lara back. This world is from the imagination, but based in reality. A dark world, a dangerous world, a world that reflects the change in Lara. It will be a new experience, one that will almost be shocking to people who have played Tomb Raider in the past. From the catacombs of the Louvre to the alleys of Prague, we searched for the seedier side of life. A world that you wouldn't normally see Lara in, but a world that she has no choice but to inhabit. Like her audience, like the game's consoles themselves, Lara has grown up. Her experiences in Tomb Raider 4 have forced her to question herself. This game will ask more questions of her. For the first time, Lara will have a moral choice to make. It's no longer a clear-cut case of good versus evil. This is a more complex tale which will ask more complex questions of the player. The player controls how the story develops much more than in previous Tomb Raiders. Basically, when Lara talks to a character, the player can also choose whether Lara is nice, nasty, or dismissive to another character. The player will choose which paths to take, which characters to trust, which lies to believe and which enemy to face. It's a much more intelligent game for the enemies as well as Lara. The PlayStation 2's got much more power to process enemies doing much more complicated things. The enemies in the game have evolved. They will work together. Notice when another enemy is killed and react accordingly. These enemies will pursue Lara. They will not stop. They have not stopped in 600 years. This story is very much on an epic scale, from 14th century alchemists to serial killers in modern day France. To create something on this scale, it was necessary to take the ideas and production values from the film industry in the way they research the subjects, the backstory they create for their characters, and the depth of the visuals. Some may see elements of various filmmakers, such as Luc Besson and David Fincher. Some may see elements of various artists, Grunwald, Bosch, all will see something they haven't seen before. When we wrote this story, we wrote a book. This game is only the first few chapters of that book. This game opens a lot of doors and only closes a few of them.